Yeah, welcome everybody. In today's video, we'll be opening up 86 packs we have to get into. All right, we're gonna be opening up the 30 hidden gem packs that we get for the new NBA pack drop for the guaranteed diamond, or we get the pink diamond Jokic, and we're gonna be opening up my hidden gem from this past weekend. I just haven't had a chance to record the video, so we're getting into it today. Honestly, it should be around 70 packs or so because we're not going to open up the Series 1 packs because I feel like 2K will do something since the NBA season is out. So I'm hoping that they drop some new Series 1 cards or something like that, and I'll open those packs then. But let's get into the video. Okay, you know me. We're going to open up the best cards to start off the video. So that way, if that's all you care about, you can go ahead and just leave this video after I open up this 92 Hidden Gem card and after I get to the nba's back deluxe card but we're gonna start with our 92 hidden gem card because you never know what you might get so we're gonna go ahead and open this bad boy up i hope it's something really good i'm praying for a small forward that's what i need for my team right now you know the deal we're gonna flip the card close my eyes hope for something good that i can finally put on my team online because my online team has only been the free cards you get from grinding so i'm hoping for the best i'd love bruce bowen or sharif but we get don't know who this dude is. I have no idea who this dude is. Chuck Noble. Looks like a 2K generic character. If I'm being honest with you, never heard the dude before in my life. But I am intrigued. So before we get into it, let's see what he looks like. It is a small forward. Chuck Noble, he is 6'4". So he's not really a small forward. I doubt he'll play on my team because of his height. Unless he's really good offensively. 89-3. Ball handle 86, perimeter defense 94, steel 87, speed 88, speed of ball 86, agility 94. Not bad. Badge wise, he okay, he does come up with badges that I do need. I lied. This card low key is kind of fire on defense. He's just short. But on ball menace, Hall of Fame, shifty, glove, pick dodger, challenger, dead eye, right? I wish he wasn't 6'4, but. Three point shot is an 89, so I can't hit with them. Defensively, he is really good with a 94. The only drawback to this card to me is his height, but it is what it is. He does come with 13, 13 gold badges as well. So not the end of the world. It's just really the height for a small forward. Power forward card is just kind of crazy to me, but let's get into the next card. Okay, let's get into the next card. You know why we're here. We're here for the NBA's Back Deluxe. It could be a diamond or it could be a pink diamond. Let's find out right now if I'm gonna be losing my mind over pink diamond Jokic and we get diamond. Okay, there's only two cards in diamond I really want. I want Miles Turner for OG. So I'm gonna close my eyes, see what we get. Hopefully it's something good. Once I know the position, it should be something juicy, but you never know. I knew we were gonna get Jokic, but could we get Miles Turner? Post control, I think we got Miles Turner, baby. I think we got Miles Turner, baby. We got Miles Turner, baby. Yes, sir. There we go, Miles Turner. I mean, I'm sad I can't sell him because I could have made a pretty penny. But if we look at Miles Turner compared to my starter, Jaron Jackson Jr., look at the height. They're, Miles Turner is an inch taller. Offensively, he is a little better. Defensively, not better. But three point shot is the same, which I do love. Driving lay 88. Standing dunk is better. Miles Turner beats him out. Ball handling, Jerry Jackson is better. But interior defense, Jerry Jackson is obviously better. Block 97 versus Miles is 94. But the stats really aren't that far off for a free card and a card I got in a pack for the 75 uh, VC I had. But. Rebounding, not that much different. Speed, he is slower by seven. Speed of ball, one slower. Agility, one slower. Vertical, three sl three worse. Strength, same. Pass perception is better. Offensive consistency, shot IQ is better. Hustle, it really, badge-wise, Jaron Jackson just blows him out of the water with having 12 Hall of Fame badges versus Miles Turner's five. But depending on the next pack drop, I might sell Jaron Jackson to get a pretty penny and buy him back when he is cheaper because Miles Turner is free out of the pack grind I did just get. So I'm not too upset with him. It's just Jaron Jackson just has 12 Hall of Fame badges, which makes him a lot better. But for a free card that I grinded, Miles Turner is definitely going to be on my team. He could be my, he is going to be my backup center. I could, I'll probably run both of them as my closers for games online, have Miles Turner start at center. Jaron Jackson is my power forward. 
But right now, my back, my power forward and backup power forward are really good as well. So I'm not mad with what I got. But let's open up the rest of the packs for those of you that will stay. All right, thank you all that are still here. I realize this video is at five minutes already because I was yapping about the two cards I got, but we're gonna try to speed run through the rest of these cards as fast as possible. Hopefully we get something outside of Sapphire for these hidden gems, but I really just want some good cards that I can put on for salary cap because these cards are free. So hopefully we get something good out of these cards. We're gonna open up all the hidden gem cards first before we get to the rest of the packs. I did open up one or two of my packs early. We got a dime or a ruby out of this one, so hopefully it's good. We got Miles. I thought these were hidden gems, not gems of the game. Miles Plumley, I'm not mad at, but I thought they're all hidden gems. Oh, uh, gems of the game. I'm tripping. I thought they were hidden gems. I'm stupid. I thought I was grinding hidden gems. I got excited about those. But hopefully we get another ruby or sapphire with our luck. We got a sapphire. I think I already have the sapphire version or I have the ruby version, but. I thought they're hidden gems when I grinded this. That's kind of why I grinded them because hidden gem cards are a little better than the gems of the game. And I can't sell these. So I got, I think I already have you. But let's see what we get. Hopefully we get another Ruby. If we get a Sapphire, that would be ideal out of these packs. I'm just hoping with the odds of opening them all up at once, we get lucky and get away with something like that. Or we get a really good point guard that is a Ruby because I will hopefully get three of these cards that I can use for salary cap that are cheap because no one else has them. Cause I don't feel like everybody else will grind this out. Eddie Jones, I do love Eddie Jones. I am a big fan of NBA players people forget about. <laughs> and if you're a young Hooper, you definitely don't remember who Eddie Jones is. I got Moses Malone. Okay, I already have you as a, what am I called? But it is what it is. Cavs, Donovan Mitchell, be crazy. I don't think he has a gym to the game, I'm lying. But we got, don't know who you are. Um, a lot of these cards for the gems of the game, I really don't think I will know who they are. It is what it is. Um, I'm glad to start learning some new NBA players that I don't currently know. I definitely could have quick opened a lot of these, but I'm a sucker for just opening up cards manually and seeing what I get, because that's just kind of how I am with cards. I'm going to grind all these cards out. I might as well do the auction of opening them all at once. Or if I could have grouped up all the cards I could open up by doing quick open, I definitely would have done that. But... I didn't get a chance to do it, so we're just gonna do it like this. Um, we are gonna just keep yapping our y'all's ears off for those of you that stayed. Gary Trent, don't know who you are. But we do have a lot of other packs that I can't wait to see open, like the 90 premiums and all that jazz that I got from finishing the season out and just doing for the daily challenges. I have not done the salary cap one yet because I wanted to see how lucky I got. I think Kevin Martin would be really good. I think he will replace my backup shooting guard on salary cap. But a lot of these cards I'm hoping are only 800 or less, so they can replace that void on those teams. And if they're good enough, I'm going to sell all my... Ooh, I did want Kelly Oubre. I think I, I wanted you for Hidden Gems, though, but Kelly Oubre does have a nice jumper. So I am excited about him. And uh, who did I just get? I forgot. But yeah, those two cards definitely should be on my salary cap team. Um, I don't want to make the video too long by going through and editing my salary cap team now on the video. But we got a Ruby. What is it? I think he has a 70, 73 point shot, if I remember correctly. So not a bad pickup if he's cheap enough. And then we go to the Hawks. Um, I don't know who the Hawks had for gems of the game, though, if I'm being honest with you. To the Sapphire. I would love a, a little Amethyst. I, that's the one. I had this Steven Jackson already. So, yep. Um, I think both are. Yeah. But I can add you to the exchange for... Now, two gems of the game, red, I'll take over two gems, so that's fine. But I didn't know there was two Steven Jacksons for two different teams, so that's kind of weird to me for gems of the game. But that's just kind of how 2K made it this year. I don't like the repetitiveness of seeing the same card over and over again for different tiers. Jeff T, big Jeff T guy, love his podcast. Um, I have his shirt. I don't have a jersey of him because I was too young for jerseys but i was a uh when he was on the team so i just wanted a shirt so i could wear it every day to school that was my thing is that all the gems of the game already oh no i was about to say i had been grinding a lot of other cards so i just hadn't got to it yet i'd been putting off finishing the grind for this not because i didn't want to do it it's just kind of i kind of forgot and i only really did it during breakout or when there's challenges out to do so yeah we still have a bunch to open up but we're not opening up the series one cards though we got the magic 
I'm gonna find out at the end of this video probably that I could have grouped these together and I'm gonna be really upset by that. But I don't know. Oh, that's the diamond card that everybody has that I didn't get because I didn't play Triple Threat that day. I don't know how to say his name. But we have a lot of Series 1's cards, a lot more than I thought we had, which it's okay. It's okay. I'm not mad about it. It's not anything too crazy or anything like that. Another Sapphire. Don't know who you are. Um, where are the gems of the game? Oh, excuse me. We got Celtics, Jason Tatum, Jalen Brown, uh, Derek White, um, Al Horford, um, Paul Pierce, um, Kevin Garnett, um, Ricky Davis. I wanted the Ruby version of him because the Ruby version is kind of good for gems of the game. I don't like that I can't sell these cards after grinding them though. It kind of. I'm fine not being able to like sell the diamond or if I had got the pink diamond Jokic, but I wish it would have been cooler because I don't think everybody would grind these 30 teams because it was kind of a grind if you weren't doing the challenges that you had to do while doing this, just to kill two birds with one stone. It definitely could have took you a while, I feel like. But for me, I just did all my challenges, so I wasn't the end of the world. But these cards, some I think I've gotten five five or six cards i feel like could go on my salary cap team depending on the price but overall outside of miles turner the grind was not the best for it um unless i do get another two rubies and i think it'll be kind of worth it because rubies will definitely help my team for salary cap but none of these cards will go on my online play sean marion i did want that card but i could never find him in the auction house when i was doing uh cheap cards to use so i'm excited i got him now for free um, hopefully I get, uh, I wanted Mikel Bridges too, the Sapphire card, because he was really good defensively as a 3 and D guy. Christian Woods. Um, if I know anything about Christian Woods, his jumper is pretty cash in this game. So hopefully his defense isn't too much of a liability to use on my team, but we'll see. Um, let's see what we get. I know it's not Jokic. We got a Ruby though. Who is, is it? Uh, yeah, I was going to say Reggie Williams. I did want that card as well. So that's a good pull. Um, Damn it, this would be crazy at this point with like, I think I only have like five cards left. Maybe. I got the Lakers. But yeah, I don't think anybody pulled an Amethyst this from opening these 30 packs. I don't think the odds of that are that great. Bob Harrison, do not know you, my guy. But you never know what the odds. You know what they say, may the odds forever be in your favor. Hunger Games, love that movie. Love the whole, all the movies. Love the books. Um, can't wait till they drop more movies. J.R. Smith? He won't be good defensively, but three-point shot. And I will be pulling contested twos and threes with him all day in salary cap. So I will be finishing that 90s uh, pack pull today. Because I got J.R. Microwave Smith. J.R. Make Him Shake Smith. JR Nick's legend Smith. Love that dude. Um Bill Walton. I think he's 6'2. Is Bill Walton the 6'2 dude? Or he's the 6'4 dude. I can't remember. But yeah, he was a great center in his time. I do know that. I just forget his height because it's just not something I remember at the top of my head. I think the Sixers is the last pull I have, if I remember correctly. I think I put it in my notes of the order of how I did them. If I can double check real quick. Yeah, I think the Sixers was the first one I finished. Um, ooh, that's who I wanted though. DeAnthony Melton. Ooh, this became worth it because this dude, cash money, cash money defensively. And he's 6'3. So he is my starting uh, PG for salary cap. Honestly, he might be my back at PG for online play. I'm not going to lie. The way my point guards are looking, and Ty Tyrese Halliburton is just not the guy for me. He might be that guy. I'm I'm very excited by that pool. Um, I think that was all the hidden gems. So let's open up the premium packs and see what we get. Let's just see what we pull. Um, Sapphire, don't really care. Don't know who you are. Um, I'm gonna go from back to front, I guess. Just so I don't open up any of these series one packs. Um, who we get, who we get, who we get. Another Sapphire, not surprised. Um, don't know your name. I think I have... Yeah, I can't sell either one of these exchange. Hopefully we get the 87 though. Hopefully we get that done. I'd rather get repetitive cards and cards I wouldn't use for these premium packs. Um, 87 premium. Let's 
Could be a ruby. Could be something good. It could be an amethyst. But it's a ruby. It is somebody I have. Nope, I do not have Car. I was correct. I do not have him. Um, 84 premium. Let's see who we pull. Don't have you. It's a point guard. Um, I'll wait. I'll wait for the those cards at the end. Three option pack. I don't remember really who I have. Okay, I'm glad it shows me. I mean, it doesn't really matter. I'd rather get the set complete if I'm being honest, or I can just I can sell him as well. It doesn't really matter. Not sell him, but add him to the exchange. So that doesn't really matter to me. The overall packs kind of suck. So it's just cards you already have. I wish it was just open to everybody. Oh, cool. Never mind. I can get Jerry Lewis. Eight. 80 permanent defense, which I don't care about this card one bit, but I will be adding him to my gems of the game exchange that I needed. So that was actually really great for me because I already had one and I need to get eight more. So hopefully I get some more amethyst gems of the games that aren't good. So I'm just add them to get the free hidden things. Um, oh, cool. I could have gotten a bead Luca. I don't think he's that great if I'm being honest. Neither one of them are good, but I'll take the center and and B. I'll probably add them to the exchange as well, just because I don't really need any of the series one cards. But the auction packs haven't been bad so far. I'm not I'm not angry at them. Steph Curry. I thought I had you already, but I can't sell. Wait, well, I can't sell these cards. I'm tripping. Um, eighty three point shot. Defense 83. Badge wise, yeah, I think he had 10. Oh, I can't sell Curry. Or can I? Either way, this card's really cheap now. This card I know nothing about. Oh, I could pick two cards. I don't think I can sell Curry. But in the off chance I can. I can't sell Curry, but I can add him to the exchange, so I don't really care. That's still a ruby to give to the gym to the game. One card, so whatever. I didn't know if it was telling me that I had a non-sellable Curry or whatnot, but whatever. I could have made maybe a thousand for selling the other one, but it is what it is. One card. I can sell Tyrese Maxi, so that's cool. Or not. Mm, sorry. Mm. Another 87. Let's see what the pull is. I wish I got badges out of this too. Honestly, it doesn't really matter. I'm gonna just go Kawhi and PG. Just they're on the same team together. Um, add to exchange. Why do I want a series one? Amethyst. Then I can't sell those. But just add him to the 87 gems of the game. Hopefully, I get another great pull from that. I was about to say my game had to glitch. We are we are making good time on these series one cards. Ninety plus premium pull could be juicy. Oh, cool! So we did get another gems of the game. I don't know who you are. Eighty four, eighty eight, eighty five. I'm stupid. Eighty two, eighty five. In the eighties, badge wise, two power forward. He's six nine. No three-point shot, so we're done looking at him. But Harrison Barnes, I do think, was pretty cash. Driving lane, 90. Three-point shot, 88. Defensively, 80. Bad speed, not the worst. But out of these two cards, he is 6'7", at a shooting guard. Has 17 badges. Has an 84, 84 three-point shot, 85 driving dunk, 86 ball handle, 84 perimeter defense, 82 steal. Speed and all that isn't the worst, but he is not Harrison Barn. Harrison Barn is 6'8. He would be. Wait, how cheap is he though for a salary? They're both 2000, so it doesn't really matter, I don't think. His three point shot is better. Defensively, he is not better. But as a power forward, small forward, I'm not mad at it. And I think his jumper is pretty good. Badge wise, he's worse. Heads, tails, heads, tails. 
I think I think Newman would be better for me to have, but I think Harrison Barnes would sell more. Is the question? So I've either, if both of them are pretty low. It is what it is. But I'm gonna go Harrison Barnes just because that boy won a ring, and I know him, and I think his jumper was pretty easy to use. So if I can't sell him for a lot, I'll live. But life's a gamble, so you never know what's gonna happen in this game. Da -na -na -na, or Ruby. Wait, it was an A7 plus. I'm tripping. I was getting excited for nothing. Um, 90 premium. Oh, it's, that's a amethyst. I don't know why I was thinking like I was surprised by that. Um, I don't really care about close my eyes because it's not a diamond pull, so it is what it is. Western 80, 86 three point shot. Is that about to be a Celtics shooting guard? Who hasn't? Oh, I passed. I passed in this dude earlier or last season. So cool. I got him, but I can't sell him. So I'm s sad about that. But. We did get some gems of the game I can add to the exchange to get my... I think we have... I think we should have five now. So I can get another hidden gem, diamond, and possibly a... I can, be, I can buy a pink diamond because I have 800 MT right now. When the packs drop again, I could definitely do it. I'm just kind of waiting at this moment to see what happens. But a lot of these cards are going to the exchange. Hopefully I get better cards for those I can't sell. But I think I already have Jalen Williams, so I can add you to the exchange for Jim to the game. Because Series 1 cards don't mean anything to me until 2K updates them. Which I'm hoping they do. I hope they don't do Series uh, series 2 cards. Because then that will just defeat my plan of holding on a Series 1 cards for the odds of possibly getting the newer cards. For all these cards that are doing pretty well. Hopefully they do something like that soon. Because the NBA season is out. I already have Zion add to exchange. But... For the pack pulls I've gotten, not too upset by. Not really expecting too much. I did get three cards I kind of have been looking for in the auction, so that is a great day for me. Evan Turner. Um, he has a podcast now with uh Andre Iguodala. Iguodala. Open shot. Fate of the universe. Golden State. Golden State has the ball. Every he says it. I want Iguodala. I already have Pablo Escobar. So we're going to go to the 87. So I need three more. All these cards are going to the exchange. Um, I don't really care about locking in my cards really that bad. Now that I know I could add more cards to the exchange, I don't want to lock any of them in until I keep getting a bunch of repetitive ones or I get all the stuff I need. Ooh, I did want Valentunas. He's my center for a salary cap. That's a good pull. He had a good three-point shot. Defensively, not the best, but rebounding and three-point shot that I remember was pretty good. We got a Sapphire Mikel Bridges. Larry Nance. I already have Larry Nance. That hurts. I can't sell either one. Um, mm, Hidden Jim. I, I could get a gold out of that. At least Jim's in the game. I know I'm getting a Sapphire pull. I am excited that they did do... They did have more... Uh, I forgot my words. Fuck it. We're opening a ruby though. Fuck it. Pull. Zach Randolph. Bucket. Um, bully ball. I wish he was good. He does not have any defensive skills. I think. We are done with all the premium packs. Hell yeah. Alright, let me get some water and let's open up the rest of these packs. Alright, we're back. Got some water. My throat got really dry from opening up all these packs and talking. But... Let's open up the rest of these packs and not waste any more of y'all's time. If you are still here, you are a real one. I appreciate everything you do. I will be doing a giveaway for those of you that stayed all the way through in this video. Darwin Ham, yuck. I gotta sell that card immediately. We do not want Darwin Ham over here. Um, NBA history base pack. I don't think, I think this is the all diamond team. Nah, I lied. If it was in guaranteed, I believe, yeah. So we got Lou Dort. I thought I had a Lou Dort. And my, I had I had the Saf, the Amethyst Lou Dort. I apologize. Um, series one cards. We don't have any. Power Power Surge. I don't remember having this, but hopefully it's a good pull. Ruby up. Oh, Emerald. Um, I don't have you, but a lot of these cards will be going to my exchange. Iron Claw, don't really care about any of those. I don't think there's anything good I'll pull out of that. I'm not getting a pink diamond or anything, so it doesn't really matter. 
Um, no shake, as I said. Alright, I think I already have you. Yep, exchange. Um, gems of the game. Fine. We open up the other Iron Clawed. Because we let's open up the packs we don't care about first before we get the guaranteed pulls from the packs. Pat Covington, yuck. He was a he is a really good dunker, but outside of that, I have nothing else to think about for that card. Zion Williamson, I don't know what I'd do with that card if I had him. I wouldn't use him. A six six power forward is just not great. Great business for my play style. Series one, series one, nineties base edition. We would love a great nineties card. That'd be cash. <clears throat> we got a ruby. It's Jalen Brun Brunson, though. but we got a gold or a bronze limitless. So we'll take that exchange. Eighty-seven. Moon of Jersey. I don't care about auctioning them off. I just quick sell them. You may auction them off, but it's just too much work, and I don't really care enough to keep trying to resell it to get an extra five hundred. So I just sell it as fast as I can. Hollow. Jalen sucks. I'll take it. Did I get? Uh, I was supposed to. Did I pull two hollows? Bro, how do I switch it? Swap. Did I lock him in? Mm, I would like the hollow. Alright, we're back after those technical difficulties of it just not wanting to open. I don't know what happened. But I think we have less than 10 packs to go, so we're almost done. We're almost there. We are almost done with opening all these packs, which I am getting tired of opening these packs. I know y'all are tired of watching me opening these packs. So let's get through with this video. Let's finish this video because I want to go eat. I have not ate today, so I definitely want to get food in my body. I need food in my belly. Get in my belly. So I'm trying to open these as fast as possible. I do not care unless it's a Ruby Plus, which I doubt I will get from the rest of these cards. But you never know what the odds are of these packs. I think all the Series 1 cards are behind me. So now I can just open up the rest of these cards. Hidden Gem. Probably could be a gold. That's why I didn't want to add this to the exchange. But we got this from doing the dailies. It was an emerald. Which, eh. It's not going to be anything great. But you never... You can't get mad at a free card, you know? You got to open these cards up. I definitely waited a lot of... Ooh, I thought that was about to shake. I thought it was about to shake. But it didn't. It just gave me false hope. False hope. But it is what it is. Um, couple more cards. Three point deluxe. Again? Again? Technical difficulties. Um, I started opening up the packs again and realized that y'all weren't here for it. So we missed a couple packs. But it is what it is. We didn't miss much. We got Dante Green. Um, you didn't miss any of the packs I opened up from the delay, so not a big miss there, but we're opening up the last five packs right now. Hopefully we get a dimer or something. I meant to flip all of them, but so far these last packs have been dud, so I'm not really too upset by it any which way or form. Send to auction. Cool. Um, these are the last three packs we got to open up though, so nothing too crazy, but... You never know what you might get. Emerald. I would love a diamond, but I know the odds of me getting a diamond are very slim. So we just got to hope for the best that we get a ruby or amethyst or something. Sapphire, I'll take that. James Jones, I kind of figured I'd get him. But with the last pull, is it anything good? Another James Jones card, I'm assuming. Yes, sir. James Jones Deluxe right there. And then we can add him to the 80, 84 Gems of the Game card. But yeah, that concludes all the packs we had to open up today. I'm going to wait for the Series 1 pool just to see if I get lucky later on. But I hope this video did help you show you the odds. The 30 pack challenge we got. Miles Turner was really good. We did get some good cards out of it. I think out of all these packs opened up, out of the 70, pack, 70 packs or so, I think we got, I'd say, 10 good pools. The rest will be going to the exchange for whatever reason. But um, if you stay through this whole video, please comment down below. I watched it all. I will be doing a giveaway for those of you that did watch this all the way through. Thank y'all so much for the support. We have gotten 50 plus new subs this month alone for me doing 2K content. So let's keep it going. Thank y'all so much for the support. I love y'all dearly. If you like this video, please drop a like, comment, all that fun stuff. 
I don't like doing it at the beginning of the video because it just sounds cheesy, but if you watched it all the way through, that means you're rocking with me, you're rocking with the content, and I do love y'all very much. But have a great rest of your week, and I cannot wait for the next video, which I think will be a Money Plays playbook. So stay tuned. Love y'all. Deuces.